This is how I got lost in the source and lost $12,000 worth of deals in the past 30 days. Take a seat, this one's gonna be a long one. Yo, what the fuck is Maki up to? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, oh shit, man. Yeah. I haven't had the Maki in so long, yeah. guys. I'm gonna miss this guy. Stage separation. What is up, everyone? It is Maki here, coming to you guys back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how I fucked up. How I got lost in the source and how all of these things combined costed me $12,000 worth of deals in my video production business. It all started yesterday when I had this realization. Um, I was going through my discovery call notes. Every time I speak with a prospective client, whether it be referral or from LinkedIn or from word of mouth, really Instagram, doesn't matter how, my goal is to get that prospective client onto a discovery call. And you might be asking why, and it's because I would love to learn a little bit more about them and how I could be of service to them. Essentially, we're just catching up. I like to see it more as a friendly call with no malicious intention, but really seeing everything for what it is. So, reviewing my discovery calls, uh, the past couple discovery calls in the past month, I was looking at some notes and I was trying to, I started to see a pattern of where I went wrong. And I've got my qualifying questions and, you know, uh, strategies to bring out the ideas that they want and what it is that they would love for video to do for their company or their business. And I noticed in my discovery call notes that I, even though I found out what the budget was for the prospective client, towards the end of the call, I would, I, I like to reiterate some of the things that the person has said. You know, why do they believe that video is gonna be important to them? The benefits of video. What would happen if they did not decide to do video and broadcast their, you know, their business, their company, you know, and the, the advertisement uh, or brand awareness behind it. And that's great and all because it's a mental anchor of why this is important to get done. However, in the back of my mind, even though I damn well knew what their budget was, I would exceed beyond that budget and draft up a proposal. Interestingly enough, when I would give them the quote, it wouldn't be for one video. I tailored a package in my mind, I tailored a package where I've given them the one video that they wanted accompanying by an additional nine videos. Because in my business model, for that one particular video that we are going to film, we are going to get an, a bunch of extra footage that is going to be unused. And as a result of that, that unused footage can be used to repurpose in other videos. So you can see where the efficiency or the, you know, the good intention comes in from my part. But the client doesn't give a fuck about that. They just wanted the one video altogether. As a result of this, when I would mention what would be the investment for the videos in total or the packages, they would be like, our budget was this, and you've literally doubled it. The math is not mathing. And what sucked was on each of those calls, I'm experienced enough to know when a deal is going to be done. Don't get me wrong, I know it's not a deal until a deposit has been paid and money is not in your bank account. But I've also operated multiple businesses in the past and um, also run an active lifestyle coaching business as we speak. And my conversion rates in that business are phenomenal. But here, it's a different ball game altogether. 
And I, I questioned myself and I was like, why am I doing this? Why am I going above and beyond the budget to try to illustrate that I'm giving you more value, that I'm Mr. Confident, I'm Mr. Efficiency, you know? We're gonna, we're gonna go out onto the shoot, film one video, but I'm gonna have a bunch of leftover footage to make another nine. Yeah, let's wrap it all together, put a bow tie on top and present that to you. It's not what the client wanted. And I acknowledge my fuck up, I fucked up. This is where I got lost in the source. I got lost in the source of having an expectation that I was going to close the deal on every call. That's not wise, first of all. Second of all, zero expectations would be the appropriate strategy. Thirdly, what I'm doing now to reinvent myself is to practice active listening and truly listen to the client from now moving forward. And I think that's a valuable lesson because although I'm doing well in other parts of the discovery call and present the offer and the investment and really share that value with them of how by doing this video, it will help achieve X, Y, and Z. It's, I'm fucking up with uh, going over the budget. Don't get me wrong, you could say, yeah, but you're shooting your shot and you know, know your worth king and all this stuff, but that's not the reality. Like, know your worth king and shoot your shot doesn't always pay the bills. And that's something I have to be extremely mindful for since I've now resigned from my job seven, six or seven weeks ago from uh, my corporate banking job and now relying on myself to hunt and gather food, resources and so on. The takeaway from this is if you are a business owner and you're not getting the conversions as you expected, listen to the prospective client. They are there to give you a message, they are there to give you an idea of what it is that they want. And if you can meet them with that service or that value, do so. Close the deal that is in front of you instead of bypassing it and trying to do the extra deal. Get the deal first, create that lifetime value with that client, and then afterwards, then you are able to create that working relationship with them and strengthen your network. So yeah, um, I share this to illustrate that uh, in business, there are going to be wins, but there are going to be a lot more losses. And I'm, a, I'm comfortable sharing these losses because A, it's going to help me become better at being of service to clients and being better in my business and being a better business operator. That's how I, got lost in the source and lost $12,000 of potential deals. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, please consider liking, subscribing, and share this video with someone that might find value in it. And if you are new to the channel, throw something down in the comments. Have you had something similar happen to you in your business? Um, do you have any advice for me so I can improve the way that I serve my clients in the future. Any feedback is appreciated. I'm still learning, I'm still young at this. And I think coming in with the mindset of continuous learning is what's going to separate me from me yesterday because I'm competing against myself. I'm not competing against anyone else. So yeah, thank you for your time. And as always, love, peace and bless.